Hi everyone. Hi guys. We're back again to talk to you about something which I think we don't like the weather when it's cold, but we like the fragrance potential when it's cold. I quite like okay. it when it's cold. Do you like cold. the cold? I like it when it's like today. I don't know if you can see, but it's really cold. Well, it's, it's like five degrees, so it's not, yeah. it's not freezing, but it's a really clear blue sky. I love That's that nice. weather. Sort of skiing weather. Yeah. Um, but we, I mean, we, in the summer, we always bang on about, oh, well, we found a freshie yeah. that we like and stuff. Yeah. But now it's the cold weather sense, isn't it? We've got, that lots, we, we've got lots to choose we enjoy. from. And actually, we've... Um, unlike o often, we, well, in the past, sometimes we would have done a, a video at the start of the season to say what we're, we're looking forward to wearing. Yeah. This is a bit of a, a retrospective to say what we have worn. Yeah, lots. yeah. And things that we things that we just have pulled out. It's not necessarily here are the latest things you should go and buy. Uh, it's just this what is what we're wearing. For. We've enjoyed five each. It's personal. Five each. Probably some honourable mentions. Do you have any honourable mentions? I think I think I've all, I've, I've just got one. That's good. Well, same here. I've, yeah. I think one split into two. I think. Anyway, uh, right. do you want to go first? Or I go first. What do you think? Why don't you go first? Okay, we'll, we'll mix it up. So you know, I have to keep going over to my box of tricks. Yeah. At some point, I'll figure this out. <laughs> um, my number one choice is something I've talked about before. Get a card, really, just in case. Get a card to yeah. give it a spritz. But <laughs> it's Hyrax from I thought, Zoologist. Like I thought you liked that in the summer. I wore it in the summer, but really, it's not suitable. <laughs> Can I remind um, myself? It please, came. yeah. Was this on your summer list? This was on my summer list as something, <laughs> as something ridiculous, but I had just bought it recently. I've worn it a little bit over the, over the winter period, um, and I'm finding it really does need the cold weather to dry down and um, to appreciate that later stage, because it's, I mean, the opening it's is really, pure funk, but... It's not, it's, it's beautiful though. Very beautiful. And, the, you know, for me, the whiskey, mm -hmm. the whiskey, yeah. the aspect booze, of that's it, what it's I'm really booze. great. Saffron, booze. I don't this. find it that pooey, but we've smelled a lot of stuff, yeah. including our own yeah. poos. That's so good. I forget how good it is. Yeah, it's, and I mean it's big as well. Yeah. Even from here, it's it's sort of beginning to release nuclear mushroom clouds. Oh, it's like Coca Cola y, doctory, peppery. Yeah. Like thing going on. There's, well. a, there's a yeah, there's a sort of fizzy, fruity mm. something going on, and then this minerality that you get from the the sort of stone as well. Oh, that's a that's nice, sexy. Yeah, and I, I love this. Winter warmer. This house, I've got a few from them. I think I've got about five now. Um, and I just, I like everything about the concepts and they're, they're sort of fun and playful as well. Mm. I mean, if you said to me that just on smell, that's a sort of fun, playful fragrance, it wouldn't necessarily be yeah. the case, but I mean, look at him. Oh, so good. So, yeah, I've enjoyed wearing that a couple of times. And I love it. So I've good. even had a few people enjoy it. So it wasn't just the perfume for me at, on the... Yeah, the I sort think, of normal I, think, of things. I think people see Hyrax on it and they think, oh, it's an element of fragrance, and they're expecting to be re like, repulsed, yeah. maybe. So when they spray it, they're like, oh my god, it smells like Hyrax. Whereas most people, if they come up to you and smell it, they think boozy. Yeah, I mean, you've got pink pepper, warm. Turkish rose, saffron. Yeah, definitely saffron, yeah. In the, I mean, base, I think, is interesting because you've got amber, benzoin, musks, patchouli, sandalwood, tonka. Mm. So you've got the balance of the heavy resinous yeah. stuff. The slight sweetness that you get in the tonka. Mm. So it's a, it's a nicely balanced fragrance, I think. Beautiful stuff. So yeah, that's my number five. Or one. Number one. Number yes. one. Right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start in a very similar vein, actually. So this is another one. It's a kind of a musky animalic. I'll just go and nice. say what it is. It is Siberian musk ah, from yes. Arigadori. So this is one I originally bought when it came out. I can't remember, like last March or something. Um, and I I did I did wear it throughout the the, the spring and it even sprayed it in the summer, but in the winter, especially on a, a day like this or even colder, is when I think it's really magical. When it's clear blue sky and really ice cold is when I've really enjoyed this. And it's just oh, like yeah. going through a Siberian forest with all this pine and all this green. And you can just oh, imagine almost as if wonderful. you're like skiing through a forest or something yeah. with a bracing kind of freshness. But obviously there is a load of musk in Like the beginning of Spy Who Loved Me. Yes. Except without the snow. Except without the parachute, maybe. And maybe the parachuting as well. Oh, that's yeah. so good. I've not smelled uh, this for ages. <laughs> Bloody hell. It's, it, yeah, it's when you come to it. It's, oh. That's that's next level opulence as yeah. well, isn't it? <laughs> I, I mean, I, you know, you think something like Hyrax is big and then you smell this and go, ah, oh, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. you know, this thing is, is operating on a whole nother level of huge. It's pretty... Oh, so beautiful as well. It's the whole world of green. Bracing brightness. Oh, but you know it's it. huge underneath as well, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. It gives you all this bright sunshine, but then you know you're in for a like, you're, 24 then hours plus like the thrill of the journey. chase, like chasing that animal through the woods yeah. as well. And, oh. oh, 
oh, it's that's amazing. really gorgeous um yeah and I, I feel i've been able to appreciate it more in the winter just on those bracing days it just seems to come into its own and transports yeah. me to a siberian forest and we need that freshness sometimes in the cold yeah. weather i think it can't all be about heavy leather and spice um, although i mean it's still a big really dense heavy musk. yeah yeah <laughs> Love it. Stunning. Really what, what's your number two? Number two is, there's a few options here, but I think I'm going to go with this little bad boy. So Dan, I mean Dan and I have Ooh. spoken about this fragrance already. Cœur de Noir by Speaking Beaufort. Speaking of, of dark, heavy things. Yeah, I mean, I love, I love this stuff because it's got, oh, it's just got a comforting, a comforting thing for me, even though it could come across as dark and slightly gothic, give that a spritz. I mean, you know this well, Dan owns this as well. But it's, um, it's this old wooden chest, uh, old, slightly dusty book thing as well that I really enjoy. Wow, a shed load of birch tar. Like, it's yeah. really birchy. Huh? Wow, really yeah, it's, it's smoked, so, uh, smoked, cooked tar. But you can just imagine like Actually. old oak boards creaking in a big darkened yeah. room. You can, I really picture this kind of ship with this desk and I imagine there's some kind of lantern swinging with like a yeah. storm raging outside. Exactly, you're, you're sort of sheltered from whatever it is out there. Yeah. Not entirely sort of trouble and worry free, but still it's an indoorsy sort of fragrance. It's so rich and round and... But it, I mean, again, it's like it's dark and quite serious. But I find it fun because it's done slightly tongue in cheek. Yeah, I, I think because of the storytelling aspect. Of yeah. It, you kind of get that. And it's, it was opposed to just being something which is overwhelming. Yeah, I think you're right. If it, if it was just called, you know, if, the, if you call this Birch Extreme yeah. or something, you go, okay, that's yeah. quite scary. But it's just got, it's got something playful about it. I mean, and that's why they're an interesting house because they really, so. you know, they tell stories. Yeah. And that, you know, the constant thing for me with this is that it's comforting, it's, it's boozy and warm, which I like. Mm. It's got the old book thing, which I like. Yeah. So it enables me to just be somewhere else, yeah. which is what I want in the winter. I'm not interested in notes per se, or, or sort of how well something is put together. I'm mm. interested in, does this take me away from this cold weather yeah. and put me in another place? And that does, yeah. Awesome. So there right. we are, Cœur de Noir. My uh, number two, yes, let's, let, let's stick, no, I wore this fragrance the other day, and I said it smells, I said it smells like Batman's trousers, oh, yeah. so this is, so we've um, spoken about Sultan Pasha, we dipped into the world of Tars, this is another house, so this is Abdul Grim Al Faranzi, this is Oud oh, yes. Um this is a house which I started to explore after I saw Nickel from uh, what is Nickel, Nickel's channel? Uh, uh, exotic Sense. Um, yeah. And a few other people on Instagram talk about this house, uh, and I looked into them, and I thought, this is 15 pounds for three mil. So I thought, if it smells even remotely good, it's gonna be great. Um, and I've gotta say, I was, I, I couldn't believe something could smell like this for this amount of money. If this had been 100 pounds for three mil, I would've been really pleased. Wow. So, this, I should also say the, te the texture of this is like tar. I mean, yeah, off, off, off the cap, you just get a lot of oh, you get a lot glorious. of oud. Like, I think I think it's um, Cambodian. Gloriously rich. I think it's Cambodian, but it's the opening is big and funky. And if you want to um, be able to experience, you know, a real high high quality oud without spending loads and loads of money, I suggest you try this. But it's They're not wonderful. it's not just about the oud. I've got a little bit. On my fingers there now, it's just a, just a little bit. Um, it's so this big woody opening and combines with a kind of slight nuttiness. Mm. I don't know if it's kind of almonds, but it really works. Yeah, maybe it is almonds. You can kind of get a, li a little bit there. Yeah, um, and sort of baked as well. But then this uh, two things. There's a kind of dark plummy quality, almost like the, the, the dark plummy in Chambre Noir, and oh, the yeah, absolutely yeah. amazing leather. If you think of the number of fragrances which have got leather. Even something like Tuscan leather, which is high quality, the leather in this is amazing. I don't know how he's built the leather record. It's more real as well. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a, a contrived leather. But it's real dark, dark, dark leather. I, I wouldn't even say it's horse saddle. I think it's dark than that. I think it is horse. Batman's car seat or yeah. Batman's trousers. You know, it's real. It, yeah. Hot leather on hot leather. But it's it's an amazing house that I, I we might even devote a video to because the quality. Yeah, I think we should. 
to price ratio is completely insane. <laughs> that could be that could be a base note in itself, couldn't it? If you said, right, I've got this really strong stuff, we can only use 0.001% yeah. as a base. <laughs> That's, I mean, you've got it there. It's so rich and absolutely stunning. Amazing. Good choice, Dan. That is my number two. Very so, nice. Two couple of, we've had two animalics, two, two animalics. quite dark ones. Oh, so I'm going to mix it up a bit. I'm going to, this is a weird one. It's kind of two perfumes, but they make one. Right. Which is kind of weird. And I mean, Dan has seen these before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, inhale and exhale from Be Never Too Busy To Be Beautiful, I think it was called back in the day. Um, does it say on here? No. Yes, yeah. it does. Never be, be never too busy to be beautiful. So, these guys Motto combined. Our lives by, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, they make up Breath of God, which you can now find in Lush and Gorilla Perfumes. Mm. But these are the original things. And I like, you can still get them, but they only come in a little a little oil now, whereas these are, are sprays. And I like just wearing these in whatever quantity I like. I think because you To were, create my own version of Breath of God. I remember you introduced me to, to Breath of God and it's, it, you yeah. know, it's a fragrance which you knew well. And then to see it kind of deconstructed like this. It's really interesting. It's I mean, really cool. I mean, we can give them a quick spray and it's an I interesting make thing. I Breath of God. <laughs> Let's, we are now perfumers, you see. <laughs> now I have to say, for me, inhale on its own, I'm not so much of a fan of. I do like it, but I mean, we can, if we spray that on yeah. there and then add the other. So this is the kind of melony side of yeah, it. Yeah, that's it? the melon, the fun, playful, fruity stuff. Which I think you're right. On its own, this is not that. It's not something I would. It's a kind wear of calon y kind of. It's that kind of slight, yeah. slightly. It's not quite an, an, an aquatic, but anyway. So this. So that's inhale. That's inhale. Now this is exhale, and I've worn this on its own because it's a, it's a smoky, leathery aspect, which I've really enjoyed. Yes, I mean, yeah. Cool, yeah. You, and bear in mind, this is really, I mean, this is old. This is probably 15, And it almost 15, starts to get that kind of like roast meat kind of Yeah, <laughs> it's, really, it's really like barbecue-y, barbecue sort of ham mm. or something. And it's, you know, the notion that you would put these two together seems absolutely insane. <laughs> but somehow they just, they work. They have this weird, yeah. they have this weird balance together. Yeah. But I've, I've really enjoyed wearing these. And I, I just wearing Exhale on its own sometimes for that, you know, when you're in a serious mood and you want something mm. that's just a little bit more austere. Mm. I think it's really worked. Mm. So a slightly weird that's choice. Cool. But that's a fun choice. I've enjoyed it. It's good yeah. to have fun as well. It's good yeah, to absolutely. not take yourself too seriously. Right. Number three. I'm sticking with Oud. Oud is very good. But this is like very, it. very different. The last one was like Batman's trousers. This is smoother than anything. This is from the house Robin's of... Robin's trousers. No, he doesn't <laughs> wear trousers, does he? He, he wears little like trunks, doesn't pants, he? pants, yeah. This is Robin's... No, it's not. This is titular uh, from the house ah, of yes. Prisana. This... I've just been wearing... This is the fragrance more than any of the others. I've just worn absolutely loads. I just cannot get enough of this. It's so, this is a beautiful, beautiful Thai oud. You know it's an oud fragrance. It's prominent. It's there all the way through. Um, but the other oh, thing, which exciting. is the real magical thing, I've got to look at the name because right. I, I can never remember what it's called, is the Wan So Long, which is um, mm. uh, it's known as a kind of a, a, an aphrodisiac uh, in, in Thailand. And it's a leaf that I would describe sort of as like tobacco leaf, but not as sweet. Mm. Um, so it's this amazing round, green, rich thing. It's really good. Thing. And, and it kind of combines with, uh, I think there's, there's some sandalwood in here, there's also some kaffir lime. And th so you get all this roundness and greenness that it's just so smooth and it's so beautiful and so yeah. rich. And even though there are lots of things listed in the ingredients, it, it kind of feels like you're just wearing one thing. It's like warm, round wood. It's it's very much um, it's very much sort of all I don't know what the word is all balanced together in a way yeah. that doesn't doesn't it's just promote like, individual it's one notes. thing. It's yeah. so perfectly done. Very Prin as well. I, if you said who's that, immediately yeah. I can smell that's Prin Lomros. But I just love wearing it and. It's probably... Oh, it's really good, isn't it? One of the... Again, it's not something we want to bang on too much, but it's one of the most kind of complimented fragrances um, that I've been wearing in December. It's, titular. it's yeah. I mean, really beautiful. It's, and I love the way you know that the well. oud is prominent, but it's not a hard... It's a very easy-to-wear oud, yeah. I think. 
I mean, that feels, again, it feels very natural. It feels, and I don't mean natural in the sense of not using synthetic accords. Yeah. I mean natural in the sense of being just in a jungle. Walking, yeah, being yeah. in a jungle, smelling, smelling that infected tree sap and going, and I love, oh, what's that? And again, we've said just this a lot, something it. I love about uh, Prince fragrances is this, this doesn't feel like an average Western fragrance. I feel there are things in there which are really transporting me and I yeah. don't get in most other fragrances. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it doesn't feel like it's a sort of playbook of how to do a sheep, oh. how to do a fougere. Oh, I love it. It's love another it. world. It's so, I love it. I really do you remember we had an interesting, or maybe this is confidential, mm. we had an interesting conversation with a, a, there's an owner of a store in East London. Mm. Um, and he was talking about when Prin first was sending perfume to him mm. for the shop. And he said, no, no, I don't want that, that, that. I want the stuff that's, that's you and that's, yeah, that's yeah. Thailand in a bottle. I want that stuff. Yeah, because that's the stuff which is unlike anything else. Yeah, I remember him saying that. And, that's really that's it, that. isn't it? That is that. Beautiful. So, what is your number four? Number four, I'm staying, do you know, this is really bad because I've got an honourable mention that I really love. You're going to make the decision. Okay, I'm going to make the decision. I'm going to pull out this bad boy. Now, I've not worn much of this yet because it was a present from my sister. Tobacco Oud from Tom, right. Mr. Tom Ford. Another but Oud? I've, I've worn it from decants in the mm. past. Um, but it's good stuff. It's yeah. that whiskey. I mean, it's, it's still quite weak out of the bottle. It needs a bit of opening up, but... Because I always find when I wear this, it's a very, very, very big fragrance. Yeah. It's, I think, I don't know if, whether it's been reformed mm. and a little bit I more gentle. It has. It's interesting, yeah. It's a little bit more gentle and approachable, I think. A little bit, because mine, I almost struggle to wear mine a little bit. Yeah. I, I feel it's almost too big. But, I mean, it's, I think it still needs some time to open yeah, up the bottle. Yeah, that's true. That's probably the sort of fourth or fifth spray of this. Because mm. I've still been wearing a decant over, over the break. But boozy, rich. It's good, isn't it's it? It's all about the whiskey, really, rather than the oud. Yeah. I mean, oud, oud oh. schmood in this, I think. Yeah. But it, it is beautiful. And there's just enough, enough funk in there. There's yeah, enough, yeah, yeah. like, slightly animatic stuff going I on. I love it. It's a real kind of, like, risky black tie outfit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's something you could wear to a really kind of smart occasion, but you're really pushing the edges of what is socially acceptable. Yeah, it, that's it. It, it's, um, it suggests someone that's very suave, sophisticated, mm. but there's a little bit of something else behind them, a little bit of danger, a little bit of uh, slightly revolutionary spirit. Yeah. But I, I include it because, not because it's the most exciting fragrance in the world, but because it's Tom Ford. And I admire the fact that despite the sort of need to make mass appealing stuff. That he did this. He's done this. Still in the, you know, in the private blends, they're a little bit more expensive. Mm. But I think this is the kind of spirit, and Beau yeah, yeah. that we did in another video. It's a, it's, this is the kind of spirit. It's a I real niche fragrance. Yeah. Isn't it? It's, it's, not a, it's not an expensive designer fragrance. No, no. It's a niche fragrance. It's, it says, right, I'm unapologetic. I'm going to use these ingredients. Absolutely. And off we go. Completely agree. So yeah, tobacco. Good choice. I've enjoyed that. Right. Thank you to my sister for um, a great gift. Okay. Right, I'm going to go for another one, which is, again, this is one I've been wearing a lot. My wife's actually been wearing a lot. It's mm. a house I don't think we've actually mentioned. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. Massively bling bottle. Iris oh. from um, um, Atelier des Or. Awesome. You can see how, this is a 100ml bottle. You can see how much there is left of this. I don't know what it is. I just keep reaching for this at the moment. It's this amazing... Deep, deep, deep lipsticky iris. It's a really, really great quality iris. But for me, actually, the fauve bit, which I think means kind of tawny, kind of like dark brown, mm. is the bit which is more interesting. And it's the dry down of this. It just becomes this labdenomy, benzoiny, rich, resiny, ah. sexy beast, which is utterly, utterly comforting in, in the winter. And it means that I almost, I can't quite wear it in the summer because it's. I mean, at the moment you did. Just you get this in? I got it in May? Oswalds. In no, I bought it not last October, the October before, and I bought it in Oswalds in New York. Oh, it's really good. It's really, and that's sl a slight boozy sweetness going on as well, but nothing. But you nothing do, over. But I love, it, I love it all the way. You don't get it yet. You kind of get a kind of a, a suggestion of. Of, 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 of what's going to happen, but you don't. When you mm, what you get yeah. at the end, you wouldn't know about yet. No. That's really good. Yeah, and it's and it's just such a hug. I've forgotten about that. And, and that's why I, you know, I've just it's just one I've been reaching for loads, and my wife's been wearing it a lot. I mean, it's a great kind of like nighttime scent. I think it's very comforting. It's also very, very, very big. When my wife wears it, it's it's really substantial. 
But it, it's nice to smell. Oh, and there's also stuff floating in there, isn't it? Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very, such it's a very nice. bl bottle. It's got gold kind of floating. In. But I tell you what, that's that's comforting and approachable. Like heaviest but stopper in the world. Interesting. Yeah, God, bloody hell. <laughs> yeah. This is, I mean, this is like a much, much, much better version of some of the kind of things that designers are trying to do with something that balances yeah. the sweet and savoury. This, I mean, this oh. just tells them how to do it. Yeah, this I shows them what they could well. be doing. Yes, love it. I love wearing this. Beautiful. Thing. Right, so we're on to your well. number, number five. One. Number five. Or one. So yeah. this is a new purchase. I've spoken to Dan about this, but I don't think he smelled it yet. <gasps> yes. So this is him. So Serge Latin, this is queer moresque, which means Moorish leather. Um, so, I mean, look at that, 78 quid. I, yeah. It was down from 260 to 78 in a Harrods sale. So Winner. what am I, an idiot? I'm not going not gonna to leave it there. Because I liked this fragrance once upon a time, and wore it once upon a time. But it's frustrating that a lot of these fragrances, which used to be about 78 quid anyway. Yeah, they were part of the regular lineup, like yeah. Shergi and Ambra Sultan and things yeah. like that. Yeah, and they've now gone into this expensive line. They, they vanished. Oh look, I've dented the box, that's terrible. They vanished and then he brought them back as part of this line. And I saw them in Harrods last year and I thought, T yeah. what? <laughs> I'm not paying 260 pounds for that. But they are nice and this thing here, um, it's, I love it for, and I'll give, give that to Dan for some spritzing. They're really harkening back to the kind of Shiseido days, aren't they? Yeah, that's absolutely a tribute to that. And such an unusual bottle. Very, I mean, there. very sort of emo gothic bottle. But the thing I love is it's got the leather aspect that you'd find in something like oh, Knees. Knees, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> like, it's Knees, isn't it? But where Knees has this sort of carnation mm. floral, this thing on skin has the most beautiful orange blossom at the that's top, really which nice. I adore. I, I mean, I absolutely adore it. And I've worn mm. it a few times now, and it's like a, it is like a more refined, yeah, like an upmarket knee stand, isn't it? Which is I'm not sure if it's necessarily richer or bigger oh. or whatever, but it it just feels like it's got more conviction about it somehow than the current mm. stuff. But this orange really blossom kept coming back through through the day, and it would it would play orange blossom yeah. jasmine one minute. The next minute, just backseat car you leather. Can feel, I can get the, I'm already feeling there's some like thick. Chewable white florals. Yeah. Is there any tuberose in it? I think or? I think oh. there's a tuberose. I think similar to that tuberose tuberose criminal as well. A similar note. There's a slight mm. there's a slight sort of mandarin oil thing going on as well. Oh, that's really good. I've never smoked it's this nice, before. Nice, isn't it? But I've, I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. I'm so sad that this isn't in the normally seventy-eight pounds. <laughs> no, and it's dis I mean now it's being discontinued again, which is why oh, really? they were on sale. So. It's it's kind of come back and vanished. Should go see if I can still get one. If they, honestly, if they have them there, I'll I'll pop in tomorrow and have a mm. look. That is really really it's nice. Really good <laughs> stuff, isn't it? And you know, as much as I sort of thought they were silly prices, they are cool. I mean, they if they've brought them back as limited edition, at least they've changed the design up and they've made them yeah. different. If you know, if this was in a regular bottle, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. really nice, isn't it? Mm. But it's, it's the orange blossom because I love. I like. I, I've got this. Um, Penhaligon's orange blossom, which is really yeah. Martha's, and I love that wearing that sometimes, just for the soapiness. Oh, but that would be Oh, I'm, getting, as I'm well. really enjoying that. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Uncle Serge. Right. Still has some. My last things. choice. Um, this is my r most recent purchase. Ah. But one I kind of bought and then just wore for like a week in a row because I was absolutely blown awesome. away from it. Um, we, we kind of hinted at this, but. but it is Slow Dive ah, by, by yes. Here and Green. So we've been talking about this house because basically... I jo forgot that you got it, yeah. Because Joe went away last summer and was sampling the whole house, fell in love with them. Then I did this, just before, about November, I bought samples from the whole house and have been absolutely blown away. But this, this one especially, when I bought it, I was like, wow, I've never smelt anything like this. Oh. Look um, at the colour of that as well. Yeah, it's such a... It's almost like blood. <laughs> I love the atomizer, it's really kind of delicate, but this, it's just, it's just not like anything else I've smelled. That, do you know, that's bringing back all sorts of happy memories. Oh. It's amazing, so it's raw... It's like breakfast cereal Yeah, well. it's like, like it's raw honey, kind of beeswax, as if you've just put in your head in a beehive. But also white tobacco, like tobacco um, flour. God, that's good. Um, oh, it's just so... 
arresting and so unusual and so utterly addictive. I kind of, I never ever wear a fragrance all week, but this is one I just kept wearing because I kept wanting to get more of it and I kept wanting to reapply it. Yeah. yeah, it's so... Is that maybe the modern counterpart of Tabac Blonde by Caron? Well, or that's, something like that's that. what I was, I was thinking of it. Yeah, that kind of white, white tobacco. That is absolutely glorious. And you get and this kind of resin swimming around, but it's so sexy. It's so beautiful. Quite a lot of florals as well swimming yeah. around the mid. I think there's also a bit of maybe orange blossom in this. Yeah, there must be. I've got a huge dose of orange in there. But it's such... It's kind of a gourmandy, but it's so... Uh, Raw. <laughs> I don't know if that's what, but do you know what I mean? There's something wonderfully savoury about it yeah, as well. Yeah, I, like, think that, I think that's what I mean. Savory. I mean, I, I, this is going to sound really weird, but if you poured, if you toasted brown flakes, yeah. and then poured on the most beautiful honey in the world, I mean, it, it sounds weird, but... It, or like if you've slightly burnt some golden grams. Yeah, or well, yeah, for that little, that little extra sort of cinnamony thing. But then you had a kind of sweet tobacco wafting by. Yeah, well. but not cloyingly sweet at all. If you ever want to see how to do sweetness in a way that is absolutely like balanced and perfectly done, that's it for sure. I just, absolutely I, and see, I think we're, we're going to devote a video to Here and Green because there's some really, really yeah. great, exciting, exciting things. So that is as well as wonderful, isn't it? And yeah, Voyage um, 2019. There's a great really patchouli really nice. one, like a green colour. Yes, which was, I can't remember the name. It was remember, really fantastic. Anyway, we will talk more about that. Great choice, Dan. So there, 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 there you go. There are our top fives. Nice things there, I think. Yeah. Interesting stuff. I've just got one, which I couldn't quite squeeze into it. Yeah, it's frustrating, isn't it? Yeah. So, so I just don't know what, you, what I, you I got. mean, it's a shame because it's, su it's such a good fragrance. But it, it's it's Bengal Rouge. Oh, Look how much yeah. is left. Um, you know, and I've been wearing loads from the House of Papillon. And the reason I didn't quite put it in because I've actually worn it all through the year. I just happen to have worn it a lot in winter as well. Yeah. I don't think it's necessarily a winter fragrance, even though there is something really, the kind of that vanilla-y, cuddly, rosy, slightly Turkish delighty would seem to lend itself to winter. But actually, it, you can wear it all through the year. So that's the only reason it didn't quite get into this list. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It, it doesn't mean that it's not like good enough to make the list. It just means, like you say, that it's not something that we've worn so recently. Yeah. It's, it will get in another list. Yeah, I mean, that, that thing's number one on anything, isn't it? Um, so for me, I've got, well, I've got two more things here, but this is a little thing from oh, Sarah Lamani. I love to smell this again. Black Velvet Cafe. I've loved this so much. You know, when I first put this on, it was quite a sort of warm, awesome day, and I struggled a little bit. But now... Actually, it wasn't warm. It was bloody hot. It was, yeah, it, it was, was like 32 too much. degrees. <laughs> but I mean... I'd love to smell this again. Oh, I've really, really loved it. It's uncompromising, we'll and I think quite that. out of, quite out of the norm for, for Sarah yeah, McCartney yeah. as well. It's oh god, yeah, sort of espresso and oud for me. <sighs> that is amazing. That is a great. Isn't that good? Yeah, yeah. I mean, kind of like wonderfully, mm. wonderfully hard to wear as well. Yeah. I have to really be in a certain mood and yeah. feel a certain way about the day to put that on. I, I almost, I almost I brought um, over the chocolate shop with me, which again oh, yeah, is yeah, a 4 yeah. and 62 stage fragrance, which is bitter, bitter, bitter chocolate and coffee and nuts and... Oh, gorgeous. That is very good. Isn't that good? Yeah. I mean, I, I love this house. I, we're going we're to talk about the house in mm. future again, mm. aren't we? But Lovely stuff. It's, again, it's playful. Yeah. Like some other things we've talked about. It's still fun and playful, it's despite being bold, dark and yeah, daring. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. That's a little honourable mention and for no lack of love at mm. all. Cool. So, we've, I mean, good little selection there, Which has been good, and we've managed to warm our, our cockles. We have. Our cockles are really lovely and warm. We've just basically been eating soup and sitting by the fire and wearing these perfumes. Yeah. Lovely. So, yeah. Tell us what your winter warmer fragrance staples are. And start thinking about spring. Yeah. Because it'll or be next here winter. before long. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. But until next time. Bye. Happy sniffing.